Section 3.5, integrating using partial fractions, example 13. Um, so, <clears throat> this is the, the result that you can use if you um, uh, <clears throat> have an expression like this. Make sure you don't get muddled up. It looks very similar to arctan, but arctan has a squared plus x squared. Um, so, make sure you don't mix up the two. Um, integrals. Uh, so this is the result that you can use directly as soon as you see an expression like this. So we are going to prove that the following result is true. So first of all you can notice that uh, we can split 1 over a squared minus x squared into partial fractions. Let's factorize the denominator to begin with and then write it as a over a minus x plus b over a plus x and then comparing the numerators you have one equals so imagine bringing it to the common denominator a is going to be multiplied by a plus x and b by a minus x Consider a equal x equal to a first. Then you've got 1 on the left hand side and you've got 2a. So a is equal to a half of a. There you go. So if you uh, make it into a. So it's a plus a, which is 2a, little a, time big a. Okay, make x equals to minus a, and then you've got 1 is equal. So this will go to 0. Over here you have a minus minus a, so 2a, 2ab, giving me b is equal to 1 over 2a. So this expression split into partial fractions gives us 1 over 2a times a minus x plus 1 over 2a a plus x so the integral now becomes 1 over 2a, a minus x, plus 1 over 2a, a plus x, dx. We can take the 1 over 2a out, and then we've got to integrate 1 over a minus x, plus 1 over a plus x, dx. This gives us 1 over 2a. Over here we are going to have minus ln a minus x and this plus ln a plus x. Combining the two logs together you have ln of a plus x over a minus x plus c as required. Moving on to example 4.